Gita, Italian pronunciation, Aita, Latin, Caeta, Ancient Greek, Caeta is a city and commune in the province of Latina, in Lazio, central Italy. Set on a promontory stretching towards the Gulf of Gita, it is 120 kilometers 75 miles from Rome and 80 kilometers 50 miles from Naples. The town has played a conspicuous part in military history, its fortifications date back to Roman times, and it has several traces of the period, including the first-century mausoleum of the Roman general Lucius Munatius Plancus at the top of the Monte Orlando. Gaeta's fortifications were extended and strengthened in the 15th century, especially throughout the history of the Kingdom of Naples, later the two Sicilies. Present-day Gita is a fishing and oil seaport, and a renowned tourist resort. NATO maintains a naval base of operations at Gita. History Ancient times It is the ancient Caeta, situated on the slopes of the Torre di Orlando, a promontory overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. Gita was an ancient Ionian colony of the Samians according to Strabo, who believed the name stemmed from the Greek Caetas, which means cave probably referring to the several harbors. According to Virgil's Aeneid, v.1-9, Caeta was Aeneas, another legend says Ascanius's wet nurse, whom he buried here. In the classical age Caeta, famous for its lovely and temperate climate, like the neighboring Formia and Sperlonga, was a tourist resort and site of the seaside villas of many important and rich characters of Rome. Like the other Roman resorts, Caeta was linked to the capital of the empire by Via Appia and its end trunk Via Flacca, or Valeria, through an opposite diverticulum or by road. Its port was of great importance in trade and in war, and was restored under Emperor Antoninus Pius. Among its antiquities is the mausoleum of Lucius Munatius Plancus. Middle Ages at the beginning of the Middle Ages, after the Lombard invasion, Gita remained under suzerainty of the Byzantine Empire. In the following years, like Amalfi, Sorrento and Naples, it would seem to have established itself as a practically independent port and to have carried on a thriving trade with the Levant. As Byzantine influence declined in southern Italy the town began to grow. For fear of the Saracens, in 840 the inhabitants of the neighboring Formiae fled to Gita. Though under the suzerainty of Byzantium, Gita had then, like nearby ports Naples and Amalfi, a republican form of government with a duke's duke, or commanding lord under the command of the Byzantine exarch of Ravenna, as a strong bulwark against Saracen invasion. Around 830, it became a lordship ruled by hereditary hepati, or consuls, the first of these was Constantine 839-866, who in 847 aided Pope Leo IV in the naval fight at Ostia. At this same time, 846, the Episcopal See of Gita was founded when Constantine, Bishop of Formiae, fled thither and established his residence. He was associated with his son Marinus I. They were probably violently overthrown. They disappear suddenly from history, in 866 or 867 by Dosibilis I, who, looking rather to local safety, entered into treaties with the Saracens and abandoned friendly relations with the papacy. Nevertheless, he greatly expanded the duchy and began construction of the palace. Greatest of the Hepati was possibly John I, who helped crush the Saracens at Garigliano in 915 and gained the title of Patricius from the Byzantine Emperor Constantine VII. The principle of co-regency governed the early dynasties, Dosibilis associated John with him and John in turn associated his son Dosibilis II with him. In 933, three generations were briefly co-ruling, John I, Dosibilis II, and John II. On the death of Dosibilis II, 954, who first took the title dukes, the duchy passed from its golden age and entered a decline marked by a division of territory. John II ruled Gita and his brother, Marinus, ruled Fondi with the equivalent title of duke. Outlying lands and castles were given away to younger sons and thus the family of the Dosibili slowly declined after mid-century. Allegedly, but improbably, from the end of the 9th century, the Principality of Capua claimed Gita as a courtesy title for the younger son of its ruling prince. In the mid-10th century, the De Ceremonies of Constantine VII Porphyrogenitus lists the ceremonial title, Prince of Gita, 
Among the protocols for letters written to foreigners, Prince Pandulf IV of Capua captured Gita in 1032 and deposed Duke John V, assuming the ducal and consular titles. In 1038, Prince Guimar IV of Salerno took it from him and, in 1041, established the Norman Counts of Aversa, who were afterwards princes of Capua, as puppet dukes. The native dynasty made a last attempt to wrest the duchy from Guimar in 1042 under Leo the Usurper. In 1045, the Gaetans elected their own Lombard duke, Atenulf I. His son, Atenulf II, was made to submit to the Norman prince Richard I of Capua in 1062, when Gita was captured by Jordan Drengo. In 1064, the city was placed under a line of puppet dukes, appointed by the Capuan princes, who had usurped the ducal and consular titles. These dukes, usually Italianate Normans, ruled Gita with some level of independence until the death of Richard of Caleno in 1140. In that year, Gita was definitively annexed to the Kingdom of Sicily by Roger II, who bestowed on his son Roger of Apulia, who was duly elected by the nobles of the city. The town did maintain its own coinage until as late as 1229, after the Normans had been superseded by the centralizing Hohenstaufen. In the many wars for possession of the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies, Gita, owing to its important strategic position, was often attacked and defended bravely. In 1194 the Pisans, allies of Emperor Henry VI in the conquest of the kingdom, took possession of the city and held it as their own. In 1227 the Hohenstaufen Emperor Frederick II was in the city and strengthened the castle. However, in the struggle between Emperor Frederick and the papacy, in 1228 it rebelled against Frederick II and surrendered to the Pope, after the papal forces destroyed the imperial castle in the fray. After the Peace of San Germano of 1230, it was given back to the Sicilian Kingdom. In 1233, Frederick regained control of the important port and fortress. In 1279 Charles I of Anjou rebuilt the castle and enhanced the fortifications. In 1289 King James II of Aragon besieged the city in vain. From 1378 Gita hosted for some years Antipope Clement VII. The future king of Naples Ladislaus lived in Gita from 1387. Here, on 21 September, he married Costanza Chiramonti, whom he repudiated three years later. King Alfonso V of Aragon, as Alfonso I of Naples, made Gita his beachhead for the conquest of the Kingdom of Naples in 1435, besieged it, and to his own disadvantage displayed great generosity, by aiding those unable to bear arms who had been driven out from the besieged town. After a disastrous naval battle he captured it, and gained control of the kingdom. He enlarged the castle, which became his royal palace, and created a mint. In 1451 the city was home to the Treaty of Gita, stipulated between Alfonso V and the Albanian lord, Skanderbeg. The treaty ensured protection of the Albanian lands in exchange for political suzerainty of Skanderbeg to Alfonso. Modern era in 1495, King Charles VIII of France conquered the city and sacked it. The following year, however, Frederick I of Aragon regained it with a tremendous siege which lasted from 8 September to 18 November. In 1501 Gita was retaken by the French, however, after their defeat at the Garigliano, 3 January 1504, they abandoned it to Gonzalo Fernández de Córdoba, Ferdinand the Catholic's general. In 1528 Andrea Doria, Admiral of Charles V, defeated a French fleet in the waters off Gita and gave the city to its emperor. Gita was thenceforth protected with a new and more extensive wall, which also encompassed Monte Orlando. In the War of the Spanish Succession, on 30 September 1707 Gita was stormed and taken after a three-month siege by the Austrians under General Don. On 6 August 1734 it was taken by French, Spanish and Sardinian troops under the future King Charles of Naples after a stubborn defense by the Austrian Viceroy of four months. Charles's own daughter Infanta Maria Josefa of Spain was born here in 1744. The fortifications were again strengthened, and in 1799 it was temporarily occupied by the French. On 18 July 1806 it was captured by the French under André Massonat, after an heroic defense. 
It was created a Duché Grand Fief in the Napoleonic Kingdom of Naples, but under the French name Gate, for Finance Minister Martin Michel Charles Godin, in 1809, family extinguished in 1841. On 8 August 1815 it capitulated to the Austrians after a three-month siege. It had been attacked and partially reduced by ships of the Royal Navy on 24 July 1815. After his flight from the Roman Republic, Pope Pius IX took refuge at Gita in November 1848. He remained in Gita until 4 September 1849. On 1 August 1849, the USS Constitution while in port at Gita, received on board King Ferdinand II and Pope Pius IX, giving them a 21-gun salute. This was the first time that a pope set foot on American territory or its equivalent. Finally, in 1860, it was the scene of the last stand of Francis II of the Two Sicilies against the forces of United Italy. The king offered a stubborn defense, shut up in the fortress with 12,000 men and inspired by the heroic example of Queen Maria Sophie after Garibaldi's occupation of Naples. It was not until 13 February 1861 that Francis II was forced to capitulate when the withdrawal of the French fleet made bombardment from the sea possible, thus sealing the annexation of the Kingdom of Naples to the Kingdom of Italy. Chalvini, the Piedmontese general, received the victory title of Duke of Gita. During the functioning of the government of Montenegro in exile from 1919 to 1924, the headquarters of Montenegrin nationalist regular troops and rebels that supported the Petrovic Niegos dynasty and opposed the unification of Yugoslavia the Greens, were located in Gita. Contemporary age After the Risorgimento and until World War II, Gita grew in importance and wealth as a seaport. The nearby town of Elena, separated after the Risorgimento and named after the Queen of Italy, was reunited to Gita following World War I. Mussolini transferred Gita from the southern region known today as Campania, formerly Terra di Lavoro, to which it is historically and culturally attached, to the central region of Lazio. After the king dismissed Mussolini in the summer of 1943, the latter was initially taken via Gita to the island prison of Ponza. After Italy surrendered to the Allies, however, the town's fortunes began to decline. Recognizing its strategic importance, and fearful of an Allied landing in the area, German troops occupied the city and expelled most of the population. The zone of exclusion began with a 5-kilometer border from the historical city center. Soon after, however, the population was expelled even beyond this point. The Gaetani were finally ordered to leave the area completely. Those who could not were placed in a concentration camp, and a few were taken to Germany. Following the Allied advance across the Garigliano and the Allied occupation of Rome, the Gaetani were allowed to return to their city and begin the process of rebuilding. In subsequent decades the city has boomed as a beach resort, and it has seen some success at marketing its agricultural products, primarily its tomatoes and olives. Many of its families count semen among their number. However, the decades since World War II have been as difficult for Gita as they have been for most of Italy's Mezzogiorno. In particular, its importance as a passenger seaport has nearly vanished. Ferries to Ponza and elsewhere now leave from the nearby town of Formia. All attempts to build a permanent industry as a source of employment and economic well-being for the town have failed. Notable losses include the Litterina rail line, now used as a parking lot and a marketplace, the Agip refinery, nowadays a simple depot, and the once thriving glass factory, which has become an unused industrial relic. Gita does have a viable tourism industry, as it is a popular seaside resort. Its warm, rain-free summers attract people to its numerous beaches along the coastline, such as Sarapo and San. Agostino Beaches. Nearly equidistant to both Naples and Rome, Gita is a popular summer tourist destination for people from both cities. Metropolitan areas. Main sites The main attractions of the city include the massive Aragonese Angevine Castle. Its origins are uncertain, most likely it was built in the 6th century, in the course of the Gothic War, or during the 7th century to defend the town from the Lombards. Advance. First documents mentioning it date to the age of Frederick II of Hohenstaufen, who strengthened it in 1233. 
The current structure is made of two different edifices, the Angevine one, in the lower sector, dating to the House of Anjou's rule in the Kingdom of Naples, and the Aragonese at the top, built by Emperor Charles V, together with the other fortifications that made Gita one of the strongest fortresses in southern Italy. The Angevine wing housed a military jail until the 1980s. German war criminal officers Walter Redder and Herbert Kapler were imprisoned here. Now it is a property of the Gita municipality, which uses it for conferences and exhibitions. In the dome of the tallest tower is the Royal Chapel, built by King Ferdinand II of the Two Sicilies in 1849. The Mausoleum of Lucius Munatius Plancus 22 BCE, is a cylindrical travertine monument at the top of Monte Orlando, 168 meters. It stands at 13.20 meters and has a diameter of 29.50 meters. Another important Roman public man, Lucius Sempronius Atratinus, Mark Antony's fleet commander, has a mausoleum, sited in the more recent district of Gita, of similar diameter, it is however not as well preserved. The Sanctuary of S.S. Trinita, mentioned as early as the 11th century and visited, among the others, by St. Francis and St. Philip Neri. The Crucifix Chapel was built in 1434 over a rock which had fallen from the nearby cliffs. From the sanctuary the Grotta del Turco can be visited, it is a grotto which ends directly in the sea and where the waves create atmospheric effects of light. Sanctuary of Santissima Annunziata, a church and adjacent hospital were built at the site in the 14th century, but rebuilt at the beginning of the 17th century in Baroque style by Andrea Lazzari. It houses works by Renaissance painters including A. Sabatini and G. F. Criscuolo, as well as late Baroque artists such as Giordano, Conca and Brandi. The church has a Gothic-style sarcophagus of Enrico Caracciolo. Also notable is the Golden Chapel or Grotto, a Renaissance-style chapel where Pope Pius IX meditated before issuing the dogma of the Immaculate Conception. The ceiling is gilded, and the walls contain 19 canvases 1531, by Criscuolo. The main altarpiece is an Immaculata by Pulzone. San Giovanni a Mare, the church was initially built outside the old sea walls, by the Hypate Giovanni IV in the 10th century. It combines the basilica form with the Byzantine one. The simple facade has a Gothic portal and a dome, while the interior has a nave with two aisles. The inner pavement is slightly inclined to allow waters to flow away in the case of maritime floods. The Cathedral of Assunta e San. Erasmo was erected over a more ancient church, Santa Maria del Parco, and consecrated by Pope Paschal II in 1106. It had a nave with six aisles separated by columns with Gothic capitals. In 1778, however, two of the aisles were suppressed and the Gothic lines hidden. In the 13th century, Moorish arches were added over the capitals. In 1663, the crypt was decorated in Baroque style. The interior houses a banner from the Battle of Lepanto, donated by Pope Pius V to Don John of Austria, who used it as his admiral's flag. The main site of the church is however the marble Paschal Candelabrum, standing 3.50 meters tall. From the late 13th century, it is in Romanesque style, decorated with 48 reliefs in four vertical rows, telling the stories of the life of Jesus. There are also paintings by Giacinto Brandi and Giovanni Filippo Criscuolo. The cathedral contains the relics of St. Erasmus, transferred from Formia. The remarkable Campanile, in Arab Norman style, dates from the 12th century. At the base are slabs and parts of columns from ancient Roman edifices. The cathedral has a great bell tower, standing at 57 meters, which is considered the city's finest piece of art. The base has two marble lions, and the whole construction made large reuse of ancient Roman architectural elements. The upper part, octagonal in plan, with small Romanesque arches with Maholica decoration, was completed in 1279. The Chapel of the Crucifix is a curiosity, built on a huge mass of rock that hangs like a wedge between two adjoining walls of rock. Legend tells how the rock was thus split at the moment of Our Savior's death. San Francesco, according to the legend, the church was constructed by the saint himself in 1222, was in fact built by Frederick II, in very fine Gothic Italian style, and contains paintings and sculpture by many of the most famous Neapolitan artists. 
The parish church of Santa Lucia, the former Saint Maria in Pensulas, was once a royal chapel and here prayed Margarita of Durazo and King Ladislaus. It had originally Romanesque and Sicilian Arab lines, but in the 1456 it was rebuilt in Renaissance style, and in 1648 adapted to a Baroque one. The side has a medieval proneus with ancient fragments and figures of animals. The medieval quarter of Gita is itself of interest. It lies on the steep sides of Mount Orlando and has characteristic houses from the 11th 13th centuries. Gita is also the center of the regional park of Riviera di Ulisse, which includes Monte Orlando, Gianola, and the Scari Mounts, and the two promontories of Torre Capovento and that of Tiberius Villa at Sperlonga. NATO base in 1967, a NATO base was established in Gita with support facilities on Monte Orlando. This was done following the transfer of the responsibilities of lead nation for NATO naval forces in the Mediterranean from the United Kingdom to the United States. The British Mediterranean fleet was abolished, its former base in Malta was no longer exclusively under British control due to that nation having achieved independence from the UK. It is currently used as the home port for the flagship of the United States. Sixth Fleet. The Sixth Fleet Commander, typically a three-star U.S. Navy Vice Admiral, has operational control of naval task forces, battle groups, amphibious forces, support ships, land-based surveillance aircraft, and submarines in the Mediterranean Sea. Gita. S role has been important since the early 19th century to the U.S. Navy's commitment to forward presence. Pope Pius IX and King Ferdinand II of the Kingdom of Two Sicilies paid visits to the USS Constitution while in Gita in 1849. Nine ships have been stationed in Gita, with the primary mission of serving as the flagship for the 6th Fleet Commander. The first was USS Little Rock, CG4. Other 6th Fleet flagships included USS Springfield, CLG-7, USS Albany, CG-10, USS Puget Sound, AD-38, USS Coronado, AGF-11, USS Belknap, CG-26, and USS LaSalle, AGF-3. The current flagship is USS Mount Whitney, LCC-20. The town is host to the families of the crews who work on the ship. There was a DoD school for American children and the U.S. Naval Support Activity, GITA, which provided health care and other services until it was closed down in 2005. The NATO base itself was located on Monte Orlando, which overlooks the Gulf of GITA. It has recently been transferred to a shore-based facility where the Commander 6th Fleet also operates. Culture Gita has erected a monument to Giovanni Cabato, John Cabot, who, according to many sources, was born there, though other sources give Genoa or Chioga. Other notables include the painters Giovanni da Gita and Giovan Filippo Criscuolo. For a full list, see people from Gita. Gaetani speak a dialect of Italian that, while similar to the nearby Neapolitan, is one of the few Italian dialects to preserve Latin's neuter gender. Distinctive local cuisine includes the tiella, which resembles both a pizza and a calzone. The tiella can be made with a number of stuffings. Typical stuffings include diced calamari with parsley, garlic, oil, hot pepper and just enough tomato sauce for color. Other stuffings include escarole and bacala, dried codfish, egg and zucchini, spinach, rapini and sausage, and ham and cheese. The town is also notable for its distinctive brand of olives, marketed throughout the world. The main production, however, takes place in neighboring Itri, and its beaches, Serapo, Fontania, Ariana, San Agostino, Schiaschiel, Mastacholi, Sasameli, and Rococo are also local desserts most often made during the Christmas season. A Latin text found in Gita dating from 997 AD contains the earliest known usage of the word pizza. The most famous folklore event of Gita is Gliu Shushio of the 31st of December, in which bands of young Gaetani in traditional costumes head to the city's streets, playing mainly self-built instruments. International relations. Gita is twinned with Cambridge, USA, since 1982 Frontignan, France 
Mobile, United States Somerville, United States Setigny, Montenegro, since 2012 Babulsar, Iran, since 2016 See also Diocese of Gita List of Hapati and Dukes of Gita Siege of Gita Notes References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Gita. Encyclopædia Britannica. 11, 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. pp. 384-385. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Article name needed. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton. External links. Gatanet.it, all on Gita, all on Medieval Gita, in Italian, Gita.it, Heraldica. Org, Napoleonic Heraldry, Links for further development, Photos 2006.